Hello, and welcome back to more of The Last of Us Part 2. Well, previously we had a very fun adventure in Seattle. It was buckets, buckets of fun, I gotta say. It was so many fun rope puzzles, so much fun gallivanting from one location to the other to stealth past some clickers or infected and get some gas, and it, the white arrow was so helpful, and it, I just loved it so much. So now we're back again, we're playing more Last of Us 2, and hopefully we get some more story today. Because we have some interesting stuff to talk about. We're currently headed to Siravena Hotel to get, to, to go find their, their base of operations, I, I guess. And then go confront Abby and kill her and all her, all her cronies. Whoa. WLF. I get it. Oh yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> you, you guys thought you were real clever for that one, didn't you? Really, you know, whoever came up with that in the meeting, y'all just patted them on the back. It's like, man, we're so, we're so, we're such geniuses. What the? Infected just hopped that fence. Oh, means we can get in that way. Shouldn't we hear gunshots or something? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's go. Over the fence. You heard nothing. We will go prone once more. Actually, I guess there's one thing I can mention I kind of didn't talk about much yesterday. Tommy just kind of dipped on us. He decided to go search down Abby all by himself. Presumably because he wanted to keep Ellie and Dina out of the- Well, I guess more specifically Ellie. Out of the line of fire and do it by himself. But still seems uncharacteristically um, carefree of him, I suppose, for lack of a better term. I expected Tommy to be a, a little bit more more precise and calculating with his... Especially because he was... He went from reluctant to even consider doing this mission at all to I'm gonna leave Ellie behind and go all by myself. I guess it could have been an elaborate ploy to... Oh my goodness. I guess it could have all been an elaborate ploy to make Ellie think they weren't doing it so that she wouldn't have the chance. There's no, no, uh-uh, no, 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 absolutely not. No, okay, well, um, grab. No reason this should work, but we're on light, so I'll allow it. On light difficulty, I will allow that to work. I have consciously chosen to select an easy difficulty, so I will allow that lapse in basic eyesight to slide. Anyway, I guess it could have been a ploy to make Ellie think that, they, that he didn't want to do the mission just so he would he would have no trouble uh, sneaking past all on his own. That's nice. But I don't know. Well, uh, we'll we'll see what happens when we meet up with Tommy again at some point. Uh, so this probably isn't going to end particularly well for us, but we're going to do our best to stay under the radar. We'll just let them. Maul away at whatever they're nibbling over there. Meantime, gimme. Give gimme give a free stealth kill. Uh oh, someone detects our presence. Okay, so where are we attempting to go? Oh, guess I won't be able to find out because my arrow is broken. Let's hope it's this way. It is not that as a fireplace. It's not that way. It's probably through those doors, which means we're probably gonna have to kill these guys. Unless... Do we, do we want to risk just trying to go straight for the door? I, actually, we probably only need to get this one, right? Because the other guy's chilling outside and everyone else is still mauling the corpse, I guess. So let's just let's see if we can just get this guy and then call it a day. Come on. Free win. Free win. The freest of wins, actually. And are we in the clear? I think we might be in the clear. Yep, they gave up. All right, they left. Cool. Let's go. Where, what, uh, never mind, it's not, the, okay, my plan is backfire. Alright, well, it's only you, so, there you go. We're clear. There might be one more person coming in, actually, yeah, okay. One more person rushing in, but you, okay, I thought you were going to survive that for a moment. I was going to be very, oh, we have to check the corpse first, I guess. Ugh. This one's fresh. And he's got one of those wolf well, Yeah, we just we just saw them eat, nibbling on the corpse. That's good, right? If those fuckers who killed Joel got taken up by some random infected, then they'd still be dead, Ellie. I'm not sure that's justice. Oh, also, I don't know if I'm fully on board with Ellie's sort of 
lackadaisical attitude here. She seems, like, right there, she obviously seems hell-bent on justice for Joel, as she should be. But throughout most of that Seattle adventure, she seemed a bit more laid back. Like, she obviously wasn't her young, chipper self in the first game, which is good. But I still feel like she was too, too calm, given the circumstances. And I guess, I, I guess it's somewhat understandable, because it's many days or weeks after Joel died, so it's not like she's immediately caught up in the emotions of it, but still, I... Knowing how intensely attached Ellie became to Joel, I feel like she would be reacting a bit more strongly to what's going on, but, you know, I, it's... I'm not gonna hold that against the game too harshly, since it is more of a slow... I guess I, I guess maybe that's just more on the pacing, and that it's really weird to go from that... <laughs> that's my chair squeaking. To go from that... Uh... I, I wanted to make a golf pun, but I don't do golf, so I'll just I'll, I'll go from that 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 heavy hitter of an opening to this where we're just kind of oh can I go through the door now oh great now I can go. I just needed to I need I just needed to check the the corpse first and then I was allowed to pass through the door that's lovely into this significantly slower kind of exploration section it's a little weird. Maybe someone else killed these guys. The infected just wandered in. Hey, found their gas. Well, if we need any more, we know where to get it. Nothing! Oh, I, th I thought you were an infected. Maybe try not sneak up, sneaking up on me next time, Dina. Just some pro tip from, from good old Ellie over here. Don't sneak up on your companions. Bad things might happen. If you try that. I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed. This is, uh, this is not the base I expected it would be. I mean, I know it's just a hotel, but still. Uh, not the not the super reinforced base that that note made it out to be. Anybody home? Oh, oh no, did I pick up lore? Training manuals reveal new upgrade branches. Oh. I was wondering why it seemed like we had more or had less available update upgrades to us. Up, uh, less upgrades available to us in this game compared to the first one. I guess there's my answer. Craft melee upgrades, faster crafting, craft smoke bombs. Okay, so. So in that case, the, the steady aim thing probably is still in this game. It's just locked behind this final upgrade branch. Could we have survival? We have, although, you'd think that'd be under survival, right? I guess, unless maybe it would be split into survival, crafting, and combat, but, I don't know, I feel like combat and survival kind of go hand in hand. Whatever. Um, so, do I have to upgrade this in order to upgrade this? Because I have enough, but I just, I'm not allowed to. Because I need to get the the top one first, because that's kind of dumb. I, I, should be, I should be allowed to upgrade this in whatever order I want. Especially when they're not even remotely, like, it's not... Forcing you to upgrade things in a certain order works for when they're directly related to each other. So, for instance, upgrade health by 10%, upgrade health by 20%, and going down the line incrementally like that. Versus, move faster when in listen mode, upgrade your health... Sorry, uh, increase speed of using a health kit. See, these two, if these two were linked, I could somewhat understand. But then you have move much faster in listen mode. Like, I just don't... I don't get, get this. That's weird. Especially because I never use listen mode. I probably should, but I'm on light mode, so I don't really have to. I just, I just, I just want, I, I guess by that same logic, you could say that I don't need the extra health, but still, I would just, I'd rather, I'd, if I would find this more useful, even on light, than I would on this, or than I would this, and I wish I could just choose that, but I can't, so. And I certainly don't need any, any crafting, I, I don't need to waste any of my upgrade things on crafting, so I'll just, I guess I'll just get this now, so that I can then get this and then next time i have 60 things i'll upgrade my health although probably the smarter thing to do would have been to save it until i found whatever manual allows us to upgrade what is probably going to be the third branch which is combat so that i can upgrade what is most likely going to involve steady aim because that's such a great mechanic that i love so much all right i give up white arrow take me away oh great i was already going the correct direction uh oh this looks bad Shit. 
the fuck happened here? Tommy did this. This? No way. That was definitely him. He's one of the ones that killed Joel. Shit. There's another one over here. using them against each other. How? Joel told me about this. You ask this guy a question, but you don't make him say it. You make him write it down. And then you ask this guy, and if the facts match, you're telling the truth. If not... You fuck him up? You know, I gotta say, I know I keep harping on this, but wouldn't it have been a lot better? And again, I don't know how they plan to use Tommy in the story, so I can't really yeah. speak to this yet. Maybe wouldn't it have just made a lot more yeah. sense if Ellie and Tommy went together on this revenge quest? Because I don't know who you are. I just, I, I, the decision to have it be Ellie and Dina as the companions, or as, as the duo, the, the tag team duo, on this, on this adventure. I know you said Tommy had a rough patch, but... Fuck. I know. Are you okay? It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie, if I had my sister's killers tied to a chair, I'd do worse. I hear you. I just don't... Other... Oh. What... What's so interesting about this tree? Is it, the, is it the tree of life? What? Did it not? Did the circles not just point me to this damn tree? I swear, this navigational thing is legitimately throwing me off more than it's actually helping me. But, it's fine. It's fine. You get the generator. I'll open the gate. You remember the code? The one written in blood? Yeah. Weird. I would have thought they would have had the player enter the code. But of course, why turn down the opportunity to give them a free quick time event? Got it. And I got this. Big question though. Where does this take us? Only one way to find out. Well, it... we find shelter and we set up camp. Maybe somewhere high up so we can scope out the area. I like that idea. Okay. Let's look for an open building. Preferably with no infected. Or a double- Oh my Jesus Christ, what the hell? Okay, I was- That- Get the other! Don't lose her! Go! You know- <laughs> Yet another horse bites the dust in the world of The Last of Us. That that caught me off guard. Are you gonna make me crawl again? Oh, uh, you're you're gonna make me crawl again. All right. Okay. Well, that just completely derailed my train of thought. I was not ready for that at all. Anyway, I just long story short, I I, I find the decision to have Ellie and Dina be the main team here. Bizarre. Ah, my favorite character's back, man. How'd you find us? 
this about a dude with a bitch scar across his face. Mm. It's funny. <laughs> How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. She what? says as he's pressing a knife blade to your neck. Well, I say that, and then I realize that knife blades actually don't do anything to anybody in this universe, so... <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. Do you think they wouldn't? We gotta get her to Isaac. We gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush, I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them and we'll kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second right now? Get the fuck out of Bro, you were standing on the fucking... Oh, big brain Dina standing on the glass, you moron. Come here. Dina! Let me guess, quick time, yep, quick time events. I feel like she should be dead by now. I really feel like she should be dead by now. But I guess not. Wait, Ellie, wait, why did you, wouldn't you want to find, same, same thing he just said, wouldn't you want to find out what he knows about where Abby and the gang are? No? She was standing on the, she was standing on the glass, I can't. I can't. We should go. Somebody would have heard the gunshots. Look, she's one of them. Come on, look at that leader. Was there a TV station on that map? I don't fucking know. Okay, Ellie, time and a place. Ellie? We can do this later, we can do this later. Bigger issue, bigger issues. It's time for some combat. Press. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just thank you. And I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna need some of your ammo. I'm gonna need to. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to swap weapons. But I guess, you know, that works. Sure. How many guys did you see? Enough. We gotta get the hell out of here. Okay, that was a lot of crazy things happening really quickly. So, I I, I can buy that Dina found Ellie, because, I mean, she, it wouldn't have exactly been hard to follow after she was captured initially. I, I can- Oh my god! I can buy that she made her way up onto the roof. I do not buy she's stupid enough to st stand on the glass, ready and able. For anybody to shoot out below her and drop her right down into the room. Like, really though? Really though? Are we sure about that? I feel like there might be better options available to you. I also feel like you should be dead by now. But, that's fine. Okay. Give me this. Dina. Oh wait, did, oh, did you kill him? Okay. Yeah. I saw the hand moving and thought he was still alive. I guess it was just his hand falling limp as his body died. Alright. Now, let me heal real quick before we move any further. We're all set. Also, I really don't know why Ellie didn't... Because they had the advantage as soon as you strangled him, they... Oh, right, this. Anyone seems to the grass to get closer. Yeah, but as long as we're prone, I feel like we're we're pretty pretty set. Honestly. Well, you'd think Ellie would have wanted to interrogate him to figure out what was going on. And get more information about where to find Abby and the rest of the crew. 
since clearly we're dealing with a massive organization here. But I guess you just didn't, weirdly enough. Okay, do I need to jump to get out of here? I probably do, don't I? Or that was unnecessary, I could have just climbed out. Alright, see you later. See ya! Oh my lord! Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hey everybody! I didn't expect you to be here. This, this, this ain't going well. This ain't going well. Please. Oh. It appears I made the fatal error of assuming nice stabs do something once again. Rookie mistake, I know. Time to go. Oh wait, ammo first actually. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give uh, ammo. Thank you. Now we go. Now we run for the hills. And I sure am. Hi. That didn't work. That worked a bit better. That, uh, that, don't, please no. Okay, let's heal. Play it safe. I'd rather not get sent back to the previous checkpoint. That wouldn't be very kind at all. Okay, open the door. Open the, open the, open the door. Hi. Hi. Dude. Wasted both my health kits as soon as I, as soon as I crafted them. I guess maybe not wasted them, but burned through them is a better. Can I craft another one, actually? No, nope, I'm not missing. Oh, of course, it's locked. On the left. Ow, what the? Were you not watching our back? Is that your whole job? To watch our back? We are not doing too hot on ammo right now. Of course, I say that and I immediately grab more. Okay, so we were trying to figure out where we, where we needed to go next. Uh, through the window, maybe? No? Oh, do I need to crouch first? Am I, not, am I not allowed to open up that window? I feel like I should be allowed to open up this window. But for some reason, the game is not letting me do that. So what other way? Hi. Nice knowing you, pal. You want to send in any more friends? You sure do. Really? Really? Anybody else? Or can I can I have a bit of a break? Oh, now the arrow magically works. I guess the, I guess the arrow just doesn't work when there's enemies in the area, which is dumb. Because if I if, if I want to, I I I easily could have escaped there if I just knew where the hell I was going. Is this is this gonna be a thing where I I couldn't open the window until all the enemies were dead? No, okay, this still can open the window. Oh, never mind. Now the arrow doesn't work anymore, even though all the enemies are gone. <sighs> These games piss me off sometimes. Yeah, I couldn't open the the window for that entire battle for literally no reason at all. I just I just had to wait for Dina to magically randomly decide that oh actually I guess maybe the window might be a, a good option to consider for escaping. So she walked up to it. You know, a sensible game would be like oh you need two people to open this window. So how about we have it so that the player can go to the window. And then once they activate it, they'll say, Hey, Dina, can you give me a hand? And then Dina walks up to the window and you can open it. Instead of the alternative, which is, you have to wait for Dina to decide it's time to open the damn window. People told me this game had better gameplay than the first one. I, I struggle to find what they're talk. If anything, it's equivalent. I don't even know that I'd say it's better or worse. It's just the same problems I had with the first game. Except... Now that now it's in a more open environment, which I can't say is to its is to the game's benefit at all, but I definitely wouldn't say it's better. I would stop well short of calling this even remotely better compared to the original gameplay wise, and honestly, even story wise, the first game had numerous numerous issues. In regards to characters surviving things that they absolutely shouldn't. And just leaps in logic and massive contrivances. So, I, so, so far I haven't found anything that really sets this game apart from the first. The, 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 my biggest issue with it so far, outside of the stupid guitar sections, is just the open-ended design of the, level, of the levels. Which you wouldn't think would be a problem for a game, but for a game like this, it doesn't work. She's one of them. Mm. 
Well, fuck her then. Read the letter. Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two-week at the TV station. Scars spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. TV station. You think she's still there? We gotta find out, right? So, let's buy all these tall buildings. That way. Okay. Let's go get Leah. Funny, I, was, I just got done talking about how I, I, I've yet to see the thing that... I've yet to see anything that sets this game apart from the first in a significantly negative way. Yeah. Specifically in regards to the story. I it was back there. Though as I say that, I'm thinking conceptually. For the save. Comparing the concept of the first game, which is... This kid might be the key to saving humanity. Get her across the country in one piece. There's, there's, you already have two layers of emotional attachment there one being it's a kid you want to protect them the other being they might save the world what we got to protect them now obviously that second one ended up being a crock of bullshit but immediately until you start thinking deeper about it the deeper into the game you get and the more they started to delve into the implications of what it would take to actually utilize ellie's immunity it's like oh we have reasons to i i feel motivated to motivated to keep you alive and get from point A to point B, especially because of what happened in the prologue. I can't really say that I feel the same way with the concept of this game, that being Joel died and now we need to revenge his... Which sounds weird, right? Because you, you think... And I guess it just depends on how emotionally attached you are to the story. I, 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 I came away from the first game liking Joel and Ellie, but not so much to the point where I'm, like, ripped apart by the fact that Joel's dead. It's kind of weird that they, that they killed him off so early and that you didn't even get to play as him outside of that opening 10-minute prologue or whatever. But I'm not really pissed off by it. I just, I can't... I'm not emotionally invested enough to where I'm particularly compelled to spend the game going on a revenge quest. It's just... I, I get that that's the main driving factor of the emotional... That's what they want... That's the emotional hook they want you to... to, to, to be running on here. And I guess it's not really the game's fault, because I'm... Like, if you're a super fan of The Last of Us, and you would, had waited seven years for this game to come out, then I'm sure you would be like, yes, we gotta get him, we gotta get him, we gotta get revenge for Joel's sake. But I just... I'm not... I'm not into it enough to where the concept of, let's go run around the city for ten hours, meticulously crossing targets off, or crossing off targets on a hit list, like high-value targets in Halo Infinite. Like, that's... I just, I don't know. I'm not, not feeling it so far. So, but, but it, it, as far as, that, that, I guess that's just more of a personal problem in terms of my emotional investment in the story. In regards to strictly its, the, its, its construction and co uh, coherence as a, as a narrative, it's no, real, really no different than, I mean, Joel's death is the only exception, I guess. Obviously, Joel's death was cosmically stupid, but we've, outside of that, the, the main events of going from point A to point B is, about on par with the first game so far. Does that change anything for you? No. Like, it's like right now, especially now that we no longer have a horse, really don't feel like running all the way over to those d deeper into the city to get to our, our next target. Realize we're out of the school and that we killed their fucking friends. They'll be out in force looking for us. I believe they just attacked like that. These people are not like us. What if we've been refugees? What if we, I don't know, had intel they needed? <laughs> it doesn't seem like they care about that. I can still kind of see- I mean, you say that, but that guy was trying to save you because he wanted to interrogate you, which you probably should have done, because you got really lucky with finding that, uh, that note that you did. You got exceedingly lucky that that was left behind for you. Also, I guess there were enemies back there, but I, uh, I don't care. We're just gonna... 
we're just gonna keep on moving. Keep going from point A to point B in an attempt to progress the story. Unless they're actively in my way and preventing me from progressing, I am going to try my best to stealth my way around as many enemies as I can. Can I get... If I go this way, can I completely bypass them? Might be able to. If you ask me, deserters are the worst. I don't give a fuck. See, if Deli was... Deli? I already... I, I combined... I combined Dina and Ellie's names into Deli. If Dina was smart... We could do a tag team here, and I could take out one, and she could grab the other. Fortunately, it doesn't really like it matters, because I'm on light difficulty, so they're completely oblivious to everything happening around them. I, you know, I probably should turn the difficulty to very, just one of the harder ones, just out of curiosity. To see what it would be like. Like, to see how much smarter the AI is. Because obviously this is pathetic, but for a light difficulty, it's, that's fine. Doesn't need to be super smart when I'm deliberately choosing to plan. The second easiest difficulty setting. We just need a minute to talk with her. Are you gonna make her talk? I have to. Oh, there you are. I was I feel like I was talking to a phantom there for a second. Like Ellie was communicating, and there was just this. Ellie was communicating at full volume, and then there was just this voice in the distance saying like. How are you gonna get Leah to talk? And then Ellie kept her voice at low volume, as if they were right next to each other. Up the stairs, I guess. Oh my goodness! Hi. Well, so much for stealth. I'll I'll just take the death on this one because I have like one HP and no health kits, nor any materials required to actually craft health kits. So I shouldn't I should not have survived that. I don't know how I survived that honestly. And, yep, still nothing for a health kit. Let's get this out. Okay. They're all down there. There's no enemies on this level, it would seem. And, which is good, because this level is our destination. Still don't Oh, nope. I don't hear anything yet, but they are coming for us. So let's just try to keep... Keep one jump ahead of the bread line, one swing ahead of the sword. Oh, hi! Listen mode is worthless. Is of no use to me. Was unable to detect you. Out we go. Come on, arrow. Of course the arrow stops working. Right when I need it to, it stops working. Thanks, arrow. I love you so much. I love this magic arrow. It has it's done such great things for me. Alright, let's see how far back that took me. Where is this? Oh. Literally right here. Yep. That actually might be to my detriment that it's literally right here. Oh, hi there. I feel like the game heard my cry that the knife was worthless, because it seems to actually be kind of messing people up now. Hey, Dina. Yeah. Give me your hand. Hey, that round building. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. Oh, and I guess I can also say, I said this... I said kind of the same thing at the beginning of The Last of Us Part 1, where I was like, I don't really see what people say... I don't see what it is about this game has led so many people to claim it as one of the greatest stories video games have ever told. So, but then I got further into the game towards the middle, and then especially tor towards the end as things started really ramping up, I was like, oh, I get it now. It was a slow burn at first, but it was an appropriately slow burn, and then once the game got going, it really got going. So, I, just like with the first game, reserved the right to change, change my mind on this. Maybe, uh, maybe the game will end up blowing me away as we get closer to the end. I mean, that's what happened the first time, so who knows? It could, we could just be in the, in the early, because I kind of felt similar in the about the first game, actually, where you have the opening, of course, it's a bit different circumstances, because the opening of the first game was fantastic, whereas the opening of this game was confusing and kind of annoying. However, it's still, the point being is that I felt a strong emotion at the beginning of both games, for one reason or another, 
and then I just went from that peak to feeling virtually nothing for a long stretch of time, and that's where we're in right now. We're in that same valley from the first game, where you go from either I feel like we're on top of the world, or I feel like I want to break something, because of oh, how great or stupid this is, and then we cut to this where the pacing slows dramatically. So, who knows what's in store for us? Who knows how things will evolve as we move through this game? What the fuck was that? I ran into a trap. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Well, not exactly particularly well hidden. The question is, will the game let me jump? Uh, what the hell is that? Will the game let me jump over this? I'm guessing the answer is probably not. Or I guess I can also just do this. I was gonna try to jump over the the trip wire, but don't need to. That's right. You detect nothing. You detect absolutely... Okay, now you might detect something. Uh, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Slipping and a-sliding in the water. Slipping and a-sliding and a-running for our lives. Where are we going now? I got no clue. Alright, the TV station in the city. I don't want to think about that right now. It sure is a good thing that I have subtitles on. Because I'd only be hearing half the- I'd just be hearing Ellie talking to herself, essentially. I think it is. I've gotten so far ahead of her- of this little look at her just scrambling to try to catch up. While having a perfectly normal, low-level, low-volume level conversation with Ellie in the process. These were all shot. Hey, look. Tommy's. Ugh. In fact, it did a number on this one. <laughs> Why are you on this mission again? Yeah, sorry, it's just that smell. Ugh. All right. I must have taken off on foot. You good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. See, if Dina was someone we met in the first game and we had time to get to know her and bond with her and understand Ellie's relationship with her, then it made sense for her to be this this integral to the story. But we I have no idea who this is. Pairing Ellie up with her for the big revenge quest for Joel. I just find that such a be such a weird decision. My bodies. Tommy definitely came this way. Stop. Tripwire. Ah. Uh, funny, I was actually just about to say were the were the, were the tripwires only in that one section of the game and then never again after that point. More of this stuff. More skeletons? Actually, somehow, no, I was expecting there to be something grotesque like there was the last time you told me to open a truck. But not this time. Not this time. Okay, what about this truck do you want me to see? Nothing interesting in here. Oh, I guess it just wanted me to cut through. Okay. Ooh. Sneaking under the truck, are we? Draw off some water physics in the meantime. Ripple effects. What's interesting over here? X marks the spot. Why? What is interesting about this? There's a TV station. What in in the grass? We can get around this one. 
Hmm. Hang on. Oh, easy. Well, how else were we gonna get through? You think someone heard that? It was pretty loud. Keep your eyes peeled. I feel like Ellie wouldn't have needed Dina. I didn't even know there was a tripwire. I was relying on the game's arrow system to point me in the right direction, and it kept... His... It usually is pretty good at that, but sometimes it just gives you a weird instruction. I guess it just wanted me to wait there for Dina to do her thing. But I don't think Ellie would have needed Dina to do that, because she was with Joel when, when they did the whole preemptively triggering traps thing. Ah, well. Up and over. There it is. Stay low. Or we can run right across without a care in the world. Feels empty. I vote option two. I don't buy it. Option two seems more time efficient to me. Oh, fuck. Tommy do this? Let's get inside. Oh, another rope. My favorite. It'd be cool if Tommy just killed everybody for us. I mean, results in a relatively boring game, but hey, sa saves me some work. I'm assuming I don't need to worry about trip wires and other traps in here. I assume we're safe to just kind of roam about the cabin. This is the janitor's closet. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I, first, the first thing I thought of when I said Janitor's Closet is Stanley Parable. Or I guess not. I guess it's called Broom Closet there, but still, it, pot potato, potato. Ellie, what about that? Oh, didn't even see that. And it's funny because the uh, the white arrow kind of reminds me of the adventure line from the Stanley Parable, where it's just, why am I not allowed to move faster here? Holy, this is definitely not. Oh. Oh, okay, that would be why. I did not see that. That's... Oh, no. I'm gonna go this way. But it's a message. The white arrow kind of reminds me of the adventure line where sometimes it leads you to the correct destination, sometimes it just messes with you because it decides that it wants to. Follow me. Why are we following you? You my tour guide for this for Seattle. If you want me to follow you, then you might want to giddy up. Oh. Another body up there. This'll be like great. We're too exposed. We have to search all of it. We want to find Leah. Just be careful. Snazzy. I got a pump shotgun now. And the door that I'm guessing you want me to pass through. Leah! Come out so we may kill you. We can move on to the next person on the list. What is that? That's her. Leah. You sure? Yes. Guess the universe really wanted her dead, huh? There's nothing on her. It's near Jackson. Look at their fucking smiles. Really? Really? That's her. Okay. That's the one who killed him. Let's 
three down, right? Three down. Six wishes two. Do you copy? Support unit India en route to the TV station. Repeat. Support Shit. unit India en route. Yeah, we Over. should get going. Oh, you can't be serious. We really just found the whole encyclopedia collection of the photos of every single member of Abby's gang. Like, I was kind of joking earlier when I said we were just crossing off targets off a hit list. But now we literally have a hit list of photo. I. <laughs> All right. Piss we couldn't talk to her. Yeah. But she didn't hurt Joel. It would have been pretty fucked up to make her talk. She traveled hundreds of miles to torture him. I don't care whether she held the club or not. Oh, shit. It's see I yeah, I I really don't. I, I again it it's I feel kind of awkward discussing this because I know it's so dependent on what they end up doing with the story and where it goes, and I just don't have the information right now. But it seems so strange to me that they've paired Ellie up with Dina for this adventure instead of Tommy. Like, wouldn't it have been cooler to come here with Tommy and do all this instead of just see the aftermath of his work? I don't know. Buildings clear first. I'm not leaving them up there. The fuck's cutting them down gonna do now? Go. This ain't the gun I want. This is what I want. Actually, do I want to go guns blazing or should I try to do this stealthily? Do I have any bricks? No, but I have that. Here you go. Take a bottle. Since no one in this game has the brain capacity to figure out that maybe it, you should be... Oh, of course you're up there. Oh, please jump down. Please jump down. Please jump down. I'll see what's up. I'll keep an eye out. We, are we about to be surrounded? Yep, alright. Well, that's it. The jig's up. Going guns blazing now. Reload, please. Thank you. Hi. Goodbye. Do they yell out the names of the people that you shoot in the first game? I feel like that... I don't remember that happening. But that's happened, like, five times in just this one episode. Is that, is that, is that supposed to be the game's way of making it be like, Look! These people you're killing, they have names! No! You killed the guy with the name! Not Drew! Anybody but Drew! And it's like, I don't know, man. I, I feel like... I feel like this falls into self-defense when you're actively trying to kill me. I don't I don't know if, like yeah, they're people. I knew that you didn't need to give them a name to remind me that they were people. But like these these particular people happen to be trying to murder me violently, so that just, just, just comes off as strange. Hi. Hi. Oh that was brutal. Okay. I did not expect her to go for the head on that one. Where are we dying from? Oh, there's someone right there. Alright. Uh, good old reliable. Oh, of course. Good old reliable, he says. Turns out the good old reliable wasn't actually reloaded, so... What the fuck was that? An interesting axe swing. He's still standing? I don't think so. can't believe she stumbled into the goddamn hit list of photos. It's... Oh, that's, 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 that sure is something. Anyway. Let's keep following. Yeah, sprinting is loud. I never would have guessed that. I never would have guessed that sprinting is loud. I'm just gonna run. We're gonna try to get as far as we can by just running for the hills. It worked out before, and I'm hoping it's gonna keep working. Oh, fuck! Tina, we gotta run! Oh, well, that was my plan already. I don't know what you were going to do, but I was always just going to run. That was my plan from step one, was run as far and as fast as I possibly could. It seems to be working so far. Except for that part, but, you know, we'll make up for... Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do, 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 do. oh, no, not the coke. Good thing Dina teleported into the room behind me, because I definitely got way far ahead of her. I got, definitely got significantly further ahead of her in that little chase. Oh yeah, those exist. I keep forgetting. It's such a non-entity in this game. Or in this universe, rather.
So that means infected's right around the corner, probably. We gotta keep moving. Not a guarantee, but this seems fairly likely. Oh, can I actually squeeze through here? Oh, is it a rotating thing? Oh, it's a it's a revolving well, revolving in quotation marks door. It is a door that can be rotated around, but maybe to call it a revolving door is a bit of a stretch. Oh, that's a way through. Really? Yep, right on cue. When in doubt, they'll be right around the corner. Maybe if we get lucky, we can do a left behind and have them kill each other. So which is it? Are they guards or trespassers? Too bad I wasted my only bottle. I really could have used that for this section. I feel like stealth isn't going to be a particularly effective option here. Unless you magically decide to turn around. You know what, let's try it, why not? Oh! Oh, that's kind of neat. I can actually shoot while... Huh. I can hold this guy. Alright. That's... Uh-oh. Uh, run! Alright, that's point one for The Last of Us 2. Assuming I couldn't do this in The Last of Us 1, and I just forgot... And I just did... I, it's not... I didn't realize... I, I'm going... I'm assuming that you couldn't grab people and hold them as hostage in The Last of Us Part 1. I'm assuming that's a new addition for The Last of Us 2. I don't actually know, so let me know in the comments if it was. But assuming it's new to this game, that's a cool addition. Thumbs up for that. Also, the clickers probably should have gotten me by now, but we'll let it slide because it means I don't have to deal with the clicker, so I'm willing to... willing to let that go. Goodbye. See you later, pal. Let's go. I got the game tells me to toggle my flashlights if I haven't had it on the whole time. Wait, do I not have it on? Yeah. Oh, I didn't have it on. Oh, I guess I, I guess I was just Dina's flashlight. Okay, never mind. The game was correct to tell me to toggle it on. I guess I, was, I, I saw Dina's flashlight and assumed I had mine on. Let's get out of here. Evidently, I didn't. Ooh, what have we here? Materials. Surprise tools that might help me later. <sighs> this way's blocked. I mean, I could break the window, probably. Jules! Vern? Oh, wait, I could have flipped it around. Please tell me it says Vern on the other side. It'd be great if it says Vern on the other side. Oh, nope, it's a whole note. Hope you made it out and find this. The two of us got into a minor dust up with some clickers, but we're still in one piece. Hold up here for the night to lick our wounds. The long dead body of a man watched over us, a gruesome reminder of why we're doing this. This infection, it really was a warning. Better to live off the land than remain in this rotting mess. Zachary says if we keep heading north, we'll hit the Seraphite encampment in the next couple days. He calls it Haven, and they built it all themselves. Hearing him talk about it, it was hard not to get inspired, even optimistic. I pray for your safety. I hate to think of what Isaac will do if his goons catch you. I'll be holding my breath, waiting for a sign that you're okay. Alright. Can't wait to not care about that for the rest of the game. Maybe through here? Through where, Dina? Oh, through the open door, of course. Did you hear what they kept calling us? Scars. I wonder if that's who made all those murals. And gutted all those wolves. Everyone in this city's a fucking psycho. Fuck. Flashlight ain't super helpful here. But better to have it on than not, I guess. Although maybe not, because it would probably reveal my position to anyone nearby. Oh, did I, did I miss a thing? Is there another way? Oh. As usual, I missed the big open obvious door. Hi. Jesus. Have you ever seen anything like this? Bloaters have acid spores. But that didn't sound like a bloater. Whatever the fuck they're fighting, we should let them kill each other. Ooh, another ladder. My old friend. I was gonna mention we hadn't seen any bloaters yet, and then Ellie jinxed it. Got another ladder across there. Okay. That's not how I wanted that to go. Let's try that again. 
That's how I wanted that to go. Alright, can I jump for it? Yep. Yeah. Got it. Alright. I gotta be honest, I kinda like the Indiana Jones swinging. I, I, I memed on it at first because... Oh. Am I not supposed to go... But isn't this just where we were? Why did... <sighs> this game confuses me. Did, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm, okay, I might be seeing things. But did the, did, did the arrow not just tell me to come down here and then as soon as I got down here it told me to actually go up there, which is where I was originally trying to go in the first place? Maybe I'm hallucinating, but I feel like that's what the arrow just told me to do. I feel like the arrow might have... might be at odds with itself. Why did I climb the ladder? That was not... I shouldn't... the ladder's broken. Should have checked the ladder first. Before I started actually climbing it. Anybody home? Anyway, I was gonna say that we haven't seen any bloaters so far, and then Ellie was like, Hey! Bloaters! Those are things that exist, right? So they probably aren't far behind. Shambler. Do I even want to know what a shambler is? Oh my god, what? Oh. Ah. Here I was thinking it wasn't possible for me to be any more grossed out by those guys than I already was. Can't wait to unload a million gajillion bullets into him and have him still not die. Let's hope this was correct. Seems like it was correct. Oh my god. Uh, uh, just kill me now. Do we have to fight that thing or can we just skip past it? I'm kind of hoping we can just skip past it, because I the last thing I want to do right now is fight that massive thing. It's the absolute last thing in the world I want to do. Oh, a bottle. Yes, great. Okay. Uh, this... I'm gonna try to kill two birds with one stone. Yep, that's that's good. All right, run for it. Just run for it. Just oh my god, that was way too close. Please tell me this. Th th am I gonna get this lucky? No, I'm not gonna get. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna get that lucky. I'm not gonna get that lucky. This camera angle sucks. All right, so I guess we have to kill these guys. The hell was that? We have to kill. I can't see anything in this damn room. Oh my god, there's two. Are there's, oh, there's there's two? Are you kidding me? There's two of them. The two of them. Really, though? Really, though? Two of them, huh? Alright, that's why I didn't want to... Oh, just where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, hi. Where are they? There they are. Can't wait to see how many bullets you guys absorb. Because this is, this is my favorite part of The Last of Us Part 1, was fighting the giant bloaters. Can't wait to do that again. No way that was enough to kill you. Wait, really? No way, no, no shot you died that easily. Ugh. Fuck these assholes. What's that? Did they get you? No, I'm clean. Holy shit, am I actually playing on light difficulty? Is that what they call Where it doesn't take six million years to kill them? What is this sorcery? Something must have gotten screwed up in the code. This, this can't be intentional. Surely this must be a mistake. That was way too easy. Surely they didn't intend- Surely they, surely they didn't deliberately make it so that light difficulty was actually easy. They, they must have- They must have screwed up somewhere along the way. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Because that was significant- I wouldn't call it fun, but it was significantly less painful than fighting the bloaters was. Although, I gotta be honest- they kind of just look like Shamblers? the same as the bloaters. I can't really discern any noticeable differences between them and the bloaters design, but it's all right. Nature's an asshole. Call it new if you want. Whatever makes you feel better. 
Whatever makes you feel better. Are we going to get lucky? Is it going to open? It's blocked by the blue barrel. Of course it is. There must be a way around. I like your optimism. Well, true as that may be. Is there something above me that I am not seeing? Or something? Oh. I guess this way. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, never mind. I guess that's why they were easier to take down. is because they're actually going to pop up more frequently. Good. Bloaters that appear more than twice or three or four times throughout the entire game. Joy. Well, I'll call things off here. Uh, we got a little more story today. Although the story we got was kind of interesting. We, we stumbled into the trap set by the set by Abby's crew or whatever, the, the WLF, where the horse died, or I, the horse didn't die, the horse got knocked out of commission and then they killed the horse. They didn't kill us, and it took forever to actually capture us. I guess they didn't catch Dina at all. D Dina was fast enough to escape before they could find her, fortunately. Uh, but then it was ruined because Dina stood on the goddamn glass so that they could shoot it out from below her. And... Then that whole thing happened, and then we literally stumbled into a, a f f photographic hit list. It, yeah, I mean, honestly, it seems pretty on par with what I've kind of expected. The Last of Us, just generally speaking, but I, I have I've yet to hit the point where we just careen off a cliff into worst game of all time territory. But I also haven't hit the point where it becomes the un uncontested game of the year masterpiece that everyone says it is. So. I'm guessing we haven't reached the point of no return. I, I, I thought for sure the point of no return was going to be Joel's death. I, th I thought for sure that was the thing that everyone was up in arms about or that people were praising to high heaven. But that can't be it. There's got to be something else in this game that hasn't happened yet that has made people become so, po so skewed in two opposite directions of whether it's the greatest thing of all time or the worst thing of all time. So I'm reserving judgment until things get a little bit further along. But... We'll see. That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I'll catch you all tomorrow for some more of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye.